Right, here we are, the big match. Me versus Ollie. Um, here we are, hole number one. 350 yards uh, par four. Definite birdie chance. Um, win today, there isn't much. Pretty much a north, well, no, probably just a north, nice, a nice westerly wind, I think, isn't it? Yeah, just coming from behind the clubhouse there, but no real, real wind to talk about. The flag, yellow flag, middle of the green. So for me and Ollie, it's a good birdie chance. I think it's a bit cooler today. So I think I'm probably gonna hit three wood, sometimes driver, depending where the wind is. Um, generally, if I miss this green, I miss it to the left. All I'm trying to do here is make sure I carry the bush on the left and carry that bunker in the middle. Um, that's two, my plan. Ollie, what's your plan? Well, I'll correct Duncan straight away. It's not 350. I've never played this whole 350. Oh, two, 350. So 250, but yes, plan like is 350 to me. certainly where the flag is, left-hand side for me. Try and keep as left of the green if I miss it anywhere, but let's give it a go. Right, let's go for it, Ollie. Play well, right, mate. Have a good too. game. See you later. Not too much time. Ollie, I've got a Callaway 4 with my initials on, just so I know it's my ball. So three wood, white tees, 250 yards, like you said, into my pre-shot routine. And then aiming pretty much at the flag. But if I turn it over and it goes a little bit left, it's not the worst shot in the world. So I've got Titus 2 for everyone X for the match. Initials on, so you know it's yours? Mm, green, little green line on Okay, alright, just want to know this sort of thing. Ollie with his three wood as well. A couple of practice wings into his routine. Good strike. Where is it, Ollie? On the green. Right That's a great shot. Let's go find out where they finished. That's the lie of the ball. There we go. That's the lie. Good lie. Bit of grass under the ball, which always helps. Gets a bit of confidence. Little 25 yard chip up and over the bank in a bunker. Um, landing it just on the green and let it roll up from there. Pretty straightforward shot. The 58 degree wedge will do all the work for me. I've just got to make sure I make good contact with the ball. So into my routine, couple of practice wings. In the club face and then pick down, pick down, pick down. just caught the down slope and run past the pin which is a bit annoying but putt for birdie so ollie's tee shot just finished on the front of the green here he's now got 40 foot for eagle what do you see here ollie Oh, boo-hoo, boo-hoo. Roll it in. Pace is good, line is good. Oh, just run away a little bit. Good effort, Ollie. Left with a 12-footer, I suppose. Left to right, did just kick off that down slope with chip shot. I should have come up and had a look at the chip shot, but left to right. They go three balls whips. Greens have just been had a light dressing and a light slitting, so they're not going to be as smooth as they have been. Into my routine. I always have a couple of practice strokes looking at the hole, trying to visualise it. And then we're over it, pop birdie. Didn't turn. Frustrating, I'll finish that, Ollie. Didn't turn as much as I thought. In for a four. Not bad. So Ollie's putt did run 10 foot past the hole. He's now packing, putting back up the slope. Slight left to right on him. Slightly left to right. Head back 10 foot past from the chance of birdie. He can give me nice and aggressive up the hill here. He did just turn a little bit more. Mine didn't. Okay, honours even. 
slightly disappointing two pars there, but there we go. Okay, we're going to have three putts. We're not going to get them all up and down, but two fours to start. Second hole, 320 yards par four. Feel the breeze now. It is slightly into us, so it's almost a bit of a southerly breeze there. Um, idea is to knock it to the red post, 220 yards away, and then wedge in from there. No need to worry about the downwind sometimes, which can bring those back bushes into play. But yeah, just a two iron for me to knock it down there, 220 yards. Very good. What club have you got, Ollie? So I've got two iron, exactly the same as Duncan. I might just try and start mine a bit left to Duncan and try and get a little bit of a fade, but exactly the same idea down towards that mark. Nothing too fancy. We don't try and take it over the bushes or anything like that. It's a par four, two shots onto the green. Yeah, perfect as well. Great shot. Well done. Here we are then. Three peas in the pod, me, Ollie, Ball, and the red and white marker post. Not bad. We didn't place them there, honestly. We did hit them to there. There were three, two good shots. Okay, so we've got 117 to the pin, yellow flag. That cold breeze is into us, so I normally hit my pitching wedge 120, but I'm going to go 9 iron just because of that cold breeze. Yes, it's downhill, so it takes about five yards off the shot, so it's probably playing 113, but you can probably add another 15 just because that cool breeze okay so i'm going to hit my nine iron 130 yards i think will be about right um, i'm going to try and keep it a little bit lower as well so nine iron for me So what you got, Ollie? So I've got wedge. Pitching wedge, he's got. He just me. Ollie hits it a little bit longer than me, to be fair. And I like to hit it a little bit lower, control my irons a little bit. So I quite like that little three-quarter low nine iron I just hit there. That's more my Ollie prefers to hit it a little bit harder than me. So he's going with wedge. Still be plenty for him. Lovely strike. Just turning over a little bit left, but should be good. Yeah, two decent shots, middle of the green. Well played, Ollie. Repairing his divot like you should do. Always good to note that. Always repair your divots if you can. Right, Ollie's wedge finished about 20 foot away from the hole. You can see my marker just about another five foot in front of that. So two ways to get in there. So, yeah. What you got here, Ollie? A little bit left to right, about 20 foot down, slightly down the hill. I'm going to race past like the last one. Marker was in the way. Good pace. Yeah, 4 4 start. Maybe half a shot first than we want to be, but not bad. Having just learnt from Ollie's, I can see it went a little bit more than we thought. Uh, this one's probably about 15 foot then. Down the hill again. Don't want to race it. Focus on the speed, the main of the ball where I want it to start, which is two balls left of the cup. I'm going to practice strokes this to get a feel. That's two in a row that I've over read. The ball's not turning much on the slip, I don't think. But the pace was good. Tap in four or four. Ball square after two. Ball square after two. Third hole, 450 yards into the breeze. I always think this is the hardest hole on a golf course. Not only is it long, it plays uphill, and the green, the second shot is really narrow as well. So for me, this is the hardest hole on the course. If I make five down here, it's not the worst thing in the world. Tee shot today, I'm always aiming at the flag on the fifth green up there. And the miss is a little bit to the left. Those that have played with me enough will know I love those bushes on the left-hand side there. 
ball's always going in there. But, you know, that's the gamble. What we don't want to do is miss it right. Right, although it's not bound, out of bounds anymore, you just can't see anything from over there and it's just a wedge back into play. So, driver, here we go. Here comes the fun. The third hole. Both me and Ollie don't like this hole. Well, we like it, but it's just difficult. So it'll be interesting to see how this goes. At the fifth flag. Maybe with a bit of draw. Left six fairway, it's not unusual to be over there. It's a good miss, actually. I need to miss that push, right? Here we go, Ollie. So yeah, same with me, not my favorite hole. Bit, a bit similar with Duncan. Left hand bushes are just literally where my ball seems to be attracted to. So I'm gonna actually start it. It's, I'm a bit different on terms of my start and line. I'm gonna start it a bit left and try and fade it as much as I can back into the fairway. Ollie's good at hitting the fade, it's not my strongest shot. I do try and hit a fade, but I'm not very good at it, to be honest. He's hit the fade. Come on, keep coming back. He's heading for his favourite bush. Don't think it'll be that far, is it? I can't see it finish. Good swing, though. Not far away. Okay, here I am over on the sixth fairway. Not my it's my normal miss, to be honest. I'm over here quite a lot. 197 yards to go to the pin. Into the breeze. I'm going to hit my two iron. It's a long way, tough shot. If I miss this green a little bit left, it's not the worst thing in the world. Don't want to go right because obviously it brings the bushes into play. Oh, might have flew through everything. So Ollie's got one seven seven to go. Ollie, is that going to fly? Is that a bit of a jumper lie? Yeah, do you I think? think yeah, I think it is. That might negate the wind a little bit. Mine, he's just sat on top of the grass there, and he's got a bit of grass track between the club face and the ball when he strikes it. So that's going to take spin off it and make the ball go further. So that might negate the breeze a little bit. What club you got? I've got six. Six iron one seven seven. We're thinking. I think mine's in trouble, Ollie. Didn't hear anything, did it? 185, Ollie reckons. Yeah, that's a good six iron for him. All depends on the flyer. He's allowed for the flyer. So we'll see. A bit of luck involved sometimes when you're trying to guess the flyer. Oh, is it a good shot? It's all over the pin. I'll be good. Yeah, great shot. Just in front of the green. Brilliant shot. Yeah. Having said that, how lucky were you to be short of this bush again? Perfectly judged. Unbelievable. Okay. I've missed the green right on the third. The worst place to be. Fortunately, we found it within the three minutes. We kind of knew where it went. I did strike it really well. So I'm just sort of, well, just a little bit short pin eye. But I've got a really awkward shot here. Because I'm in the rough. So I need to get the ball up. I've got a bank to go over. So I've got to get the ball up. But I've got to keep it below the branches here and there to get it to the green so to be honest i'm a little bit lost on what i'm gonna do here i don't know i can't go high but i can't go low can i pick a club that's got the right trajectory to get it up and over this bump through the rough but below those branches let's have a go i'm gonna go with an eight iron i think that might just do the job let's give it a go just if you want to lie the ball it's just sat down To be honest, I'm now thinking if I walk off here with a five, I've done exceptionally well from here. This is horrible. Um, it's probably looking like six, but let's not make anything more than that. So I'm going to go back in my stance a little bit of an eight iron. I still think I've got enough loft to clear this. A little sort of stabby shot. And let's just see what happens. Not a lot. That was always the danger. It just wasn't going to come up high enough. Now I've got an absolute nightmare. It's even worse. I think I'm going to have to chip it in front of me. Yeah. That's teed up on a massive high tee. <laughs> Loads of grass under the ball there. I 
I think I'm just going to have to chip it in front of me now. I don't think I've got any other option. I'll maybe go back as far as I want. But I think, now I've just got to chip it in front of me. I think I can get it up and down from there. Just missed that bush. That's okay there. So I've chipped into a good spot, but I, haven't, I now haven't got a stance. I'm having a bit of a nightmare here, but I think I can get my pitching wedge to that just to chip it forward onto that green. I'm uh, doing well here if I don't make a seven, to be honest. Right, so I can't get quite into the ball. I'm going to have to try and manufacture a stance. I'm not having a lot of luck here. I think this is probably the best way. I can almost maybe pass it up and down. Let's have a go at doing this. Oh, that was pretty decent from there, to be honest. But it's left me a tricky putt now. How many is that, Ollie? I've lost count. Okay, putting for a six. Tough putt left to right running downhill. It's a putt that I want to be aggressive to with to make six, but I don't think I can be. I've almost got to accept that. Seven now is a good score. I've got about a foot break left to right, I think. All of that speed downhill. I'm going to try and maintain my composure. The frustration is boiling over. shot down the third, had no real shot, gambled, it failed, seven, at least it's a seven early on, I've got time to make those shots back if I can. Right, here we are, meanwhile Ollie has got this little 10 footer for birdie on the third hole, great shot in there, he hit with his six iron, what do you see Ollie? Yeah, left to right, had a couple left to right putts already on the first couple of holes, so I've just got to make sure that I do just, and I have undercooked them both times, so hopefully just Aim it a little bit further left than I have in the first couple. He's learnt from these mistakes of the first couple of greens. Going to try and put that into practice now. It's gone high enough. Too high that time. A bit bold with the pace as well. He's got a little tricky couple of feet coming back. He's going to take his time. He's going to go for his full routine. See, we both putt with a pin out. We quite like the pin out. We're, we're, we're traditionalists. We had too many putts miss by hitting the flag in lockdown. So, or COVID. Yeah, solid, Ollie. Good putt that as well. Good four, mate. Well played. Right, after my disaster on the last hole, it's Ollie's honour. One okay. up in our little match. So one up in a match. Fourth hole. Fourth hole. Playing 2.15, but into the wind, and like I say, cold cold wind as well, so it's playing a long way. Two fifteen into the breeze. Two on, Ollie. I've got two on. It's all you got, I think, isn't it? Same with me, mate. About for 2.35 clubs, so. Yeah. <laughs> tough hole again. Another tough hole. Walk off with four. We're not overly disappointed. Normally relies on a short game to get it up and down. Great strike. Just stay. Oh, it's not cut back. Left bunker, maybe. Yeah, good strike, though. Well done. Tough, tough hole, this one. It's always, we don't hit the green very often from 215 yards. So. A two iron as well. It's not a very trusty two iron these days. I've lost my trusty two iron, this really, as we saw from the last hole. But for me to get it 215 into the breeze, I'm probably going to have to keep it a little bit lower. So I'm just going to kind of move it back in my stance a little bit just to keep the flight down. Let's see if I can just chase it up there. Oh, lovely line. Right, Ollie's just missed it left. There's a the left hand bunker. He's got plenty of green to work with. He's got to counter the, the bump from the bunker, the edge of the bunker there, the bank. So he's just got to counter that. What club you got, Ollie? So I've got 54. There's a couple of ways I'd try and play this. I could try and bump it actually into it and roll it over the top. I'm going to try and fly it over the top a little bit. Short game in terms of chipping is probably my weak part of the game. So oh, He's got a good lie though. He's got a good lie. Yeah, 
that's all his weakness. He just gets a little bit scared of chipping. Just gets in his head a little bit sometimes. Wasn't very confident there, never mind. So, just a little bit short, not a bad lead. We didn't quite catch the time, but I'm happy with the result, really. I say, I don't hit the green very often on here, and all with the best players in the world. 2.15 away from the hole is a tough green to hit. So, I've left myself in a good spot. I'm debating whether to chip it or putt it. There's lots of grass, autumn grass, I call it, a bit scruffy, fur worm casts. In the summer, I'd probably putt it. But I'm a decent chipper of the ball, so I am going to chip it. It's chipping into the upslope a little bit. Greens are still a little bit sandy, so I've got to weigh that into the equation. I'm probably going to go with my 54 and just land it halfway to the hole. The 54 is the sand wedge, effectively. New wedges in the bag, new Callaway wedges with a rusty face, so we're expecting a bit of spin. Halfway to the hole, he says. Yeah, nice. So a nice little chip, chip for me on the fourth there. I do like my chipping. Unlike Ollie, it's his weakness for me. It's a strength. So I'm pretty happy with my chipping. I've got a little tap in here. So I'm just going to tap it in for my par three. Always nice to do on the fourth hole. Tough, tough hole. So any par three is always greatly welcome. Right. Ollie, after his disappointing chip, has left himself 30 foot for par. What did you see here, Ollie? I'm not going to move too much. It's almost one of those ones I want to get the pace right give it a go if I just almost hit it. So yeah, if you get the pace right on most of your putts, this is everybody watching, you'll never be that far away from the hole. Pace is so important, especially from this range. It's a good line. Yeah, it's a good putt, Ollie, well done. Okay, we took a four. You'll be disappointed with that, but if you go four, four down, Go four, four, down three and four. That's not the worst thing in the world. Plenty of birdie Back chances. To all square than Ollie. I'll take a par three there, to be honest. Um, fifth hole, tough par four. Obviously, cliff edge, water, sea, north sea, right. The whole of England to the left. So no excuses for going right. My strategy has changed over the years down here. My two eye, which I used to love, is not behaving itself at the moment. So I'm going with three wood. It's down the breeze. If I hit my three wood down a 260, it leaves me 140 to the pin, 120 to the pin, so that's my plan. Um, yes, if I do miss this, it's not unusual for me to be somewhere near the ladies' tee on the fourth. Um, obviously, I'm going to try and hit down the fairway, but my miss is left because I don't want to go right. Aiming down the left a little bit as well, just in case I push a three, but I haven't hit many of three with the right, so... on top of my club face there, that'll put me off, that'll be in my head. I'll start my routine again. A little tip there if something distracts you. Go for your routine again, so you're fully focused. Nicely down a fair way. Ollie being a little bit longer than me, he's got his two iron out. And trust Try and trust his two iron. That's become his trusted. He loves his trusty two iron. Me, that used to be for me years. But I've just fallen out of favour with, with two iron. I don't know. I prefer with three with these days, which is most unusual. But that's how your game can change. Yep. Good swing. Safely down the left hand side. Won't be near that bunker, Ollie, will it? Just bounce right of it. Yeah, you're fine. There we are, middle of the fairway. A bit shorter than I anticipated. I did catch it a little bit bottomy, so it spun quite a lot. So it's left me 163 to the back pin, middle pin. So it's quite a nice pin to get at. For me, that's a nice smooth seven iron. I normally find my seven iron 157. So there's a little bit of breeze to help me down there as well. So yeah, I'm going to go with a nice smooth seven iron. I'll mention it before Ollie does. Yes, he's outdriven me with his two iron by about 20 yards. Just get that in there before he does. Grinning behind the camera there.
It's all right. Yeah, still up there. Hit it thin to win. So Ollie's got one four two. What you got, Ollie? So one four two, which is twenty one yards shorter than you had. I've got nine. Thanks iron. for that. Um, nine iron. I don't want to go long here. The flag's right at the back, so I just want to take a little bit off it. This is about one my one forty club, so five yards short of the flag. So try and take five yards. How, how, how are you going to do that? How are you going to take five yards off your shot, Ollie? Hands down the grip. Hands down the grip a little bit. That's how he takes five. A bit as well. There we go. Yep. So just hands down the grip. Just feels like he swings it a little shorter for better control. That's how you take five yards off it. Good strike. Good strike. A bit long. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, ho, 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 back edge, he's hung on you, jammy bugger. So Ollie did strike his well. He's just carried it to the back edge of the green. He didn't quite take the five yards off that he wanted, but it's not a bad spot to be, just off the back of the green. Slight down slope, repairing his pitch mark, good boy. Yeah. What do we see there, Ollie? It's gone a little bit further, but it's just obviously gonna go straight down the hill to start. We can pick up a bit of pace. But I think it's fairly flat once it gets on the green. Yeah, I... It's not going to move massive amounts. This green never really does, does it? No. Now I find. Oh, it did go left off the slope, Ollie. Pace was great. Yeah, pace was great. A little bit of work maybe to do, but that did go further left than we both thought. Can I finish it? Don't you stand on my line. Ollie's a good putter. He doesn't mind these. I've got better with these these days. Expectation levels have changed a little bit with short putts. PJ Tour stats helped me out there. Oh, he has pushed it though. That's unlike Ollie. That's unlike. He's normally solid. Greens aren't as good as they were. Okay, my slightly thin seven iron had just caught it sort of 20 foot short of the pin really. Again, all about a pace. If this ball's in, it's great. I've got it slightly right to left. It's coming off there. But again, it's all about pace. If it managed to drop in happy days. Yeah. But I won't be running it the whole, I don't think. I don't fancy those two footers today. The green's been a little bit bobbly. Should have been more aggressive. How much noise out of that? My defence is mine, eh? But again, pace is decent. You're not going to hold too many for 20 foot, so happy with the two foot. Solid one. Back to all square then, Ollie. Take a par three there, to be honest. Um, fifth hole, tough par four. Obviously, cliff edge, water, sea, north sea, right. The whole of England to the left, so no excuses for going right. My strategy has changed over the years down here. My two eye, which I used to love, is not behaving itself at the moment. So I'm going with three wood. It's down the breeze. If I hit my three wood down at 260, it leaves me 140 to the pin, 120 to the pin. So that's my plan. Um, yes, if I do miss this, it's not unusual for me to be somewhere near the ladies tee on the fourth. Um, obviously I'm gonna try and hit down the fairway, but my miss is left because I don't want to go right. Down the left a little bit as well, just in case I push a three wood. I haven't hit many with a three wood right, so you never know. Hello, a bit of grass on top of my club face there, that'll put me off, that'll be in the head. I'll start my routine again. A little tip there if something distracts you. Ollie being a little bit longer than me, he's got his two iron out. Yeah, tried and trusted two iron. Tried and trusted, so that's become his trusted. He loves his trusty two iron. Me, that used to be for me years. But I've just fallen out of favour with two iron, I don't know. Prefer my three with these days, which is most unusual. But that's how your game can change. Yep, good swing. Safety down the left hand side. Won't be near that bunker, Ollie, will it? Just bounce right of it, yeah, you're fine. There we are, middle of the fairway, a bit shorter than I anticipated. 
I did catch it a little bit bottomy, so it spun quite a lot. So it's left me one six three to the back pin, middle pin. So it's quite a nice pin to get at. For me, that's a nice smooth seven iron. I normally find my seven iron one five seven. So there's a little bit of breeze to help me down there as well. So yeah, I'm going to go with a nice smooth seven iron. I'll mention it before Ollie does. Yes, he's outdriven me with his two iron by about twenty yards. Just get that in there before he does. Grinning behind the camera there. So Ollie's got one four two. What you got, Ollie? So one four two, which is twenty one yards shorter than you had. I've got nine. Thanks iron. for that. Um, nine iron. I don't want to go long here. The flag's right at the back, so I just want to take a little bit off it. This is about one my one forty club, so I'm five yards short of the flag. So he's going to try and take five yards. How are you going to do that? How are you going to take five yards off your shot, Ollie? Hands down the grip. Hands down the grip a little bit. That's how he takes five. There we go. Yep. So just hands down the grip. Just feels like he swings it a little shorter for better control. That's how you take five yards off it. Good strike. Good strike. A bit long. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, back edge. He's hung on, you jammy bugger. So Ollie did strike his well. He's just carried it to the back edge of the green. He didn't quite take the five yards off that he wanted, but it's not a bad spot to be, just off the back of the green, slight down slope, repairing his pitch mark, good boy. Yeah. What do we see there, Ollie? It's gone a little bit further, but it's just obviously gonna go straight down the hill to start. We can pick up a bit of pace, but I think it's fairly flat once it gets onto the yeah, green. It's not gonna move massive amounts. This green never really does, does it? No. What I find. It did go left off the slope, Ollie. Pace was great. Yeah, pace was great. A little Good bit of work way. maybe to do, but that did go further left than we both thought. Can I finish it? Don't you stand on my line. Ollie's a good putter. He doesn't mind these. I've got better with these these days. Expectation levels have changed a little bit with short putts. The PGA Tour stats helped me out there. Has pushed it though. That's unlike Ollie. That's unlike. He's normally solid. Greens aren't as good as they were. Okay, my slightly thin seven iron has just caught it sort of 20 foot short of the pin, really. Again, all about a pace. If this ball's in, it's great. I've got it slightly right to left. It's coming off there. But again, it's all about pace. If it manages to drop in, happy days. Yeah. And I won't be running it the hole, I don't think. I don't fancy those two footers today. At this stage, we should mental, mention my mental strength, my bounce max ability after that terrible seven on the third hole. I've gone par par, that now puts me one up in the match. Happy days. Has to be said, in times gone by, I probably would have lost the plot after a seven, but I have had many a bad rounds of golf or many a bad hole with a treble bogey on and actually recovered to finish under par. So lots of years of uh, making big errors, learning from them and mentally staying pretty calm and pretty patient with myself, which has helped my game no end. Six hole. Long hole, down breeze, bunkers up there at 270, 280 cross bunkers. Um, so we're just going to hit three with down there to make sure I stay short of those. There's every chance of a hit driver, I could catch one and it could go in there. So I want to stay short of them to leave myself a nice routine second shot into the green.
thin to win, Ollie. Head and thin to win. Right, much the same for Ollie. Much the same. I'll try and fade a little bit more. He's going to try and hit a bit more fade because he's going to take a bit more off it because he probably can hit three with down there. So, see the steam coming out of his ears now. Yeah. Great swing. Yeah, love a shot. Perfect. In the middle of the fairway. Yes, I called it a little bit thin, but it's absolutely fine. 174 yards to the pin. Pin is on the front. Don't really want to go too fast, too far past the pin here because it leaves a horrible downhill putt box of man today because the greens aren't quite as clean and it's not downwind as in for your putt. So yeah, it's okay, but I'd rather be a little bit below the hole. So I think six iron will do that for me perfectly. Let's see if I can strike one properly. Get it up there. Very good. Get you on. Oh, oh, look at that. Really stiffed it, Ollie. That was a better strike, wasn't it? Right, Ollie's made a bit of a schoolboy error here. I think he's misjudging the breeze a little bit because he went long with that nine iron second shot, didn't he? And now he's gone long with his three wood off the tee. He did strike it very well, but even so, he should be maybe allowing for that. So he's a little bit cross with himself, which is understandable. It is a bit of a schoolboy error, but hindsight's a wonderful thing. So what are you going to do here now, Ollie? So I've been hitting it well through the first few holes, so I'm confident enough to hit a seven. I'm going to try and hit seven. I've got 150, so I'm going to take a little bit off it. And coming out of the bunker as well, it'll come out not as well. It will spin a lot, won't it, generally, yeah, out of the bunker. So we catch them quite clean. They'll spin lots. They don't go generally quite so far. Take on the green. Are you happy to clear that lip? You're going to clear that lip? Yeah, I'll give it a good go. Yeah, OK. He's, he's gambling a little bit here. He's under pressure a little bit. I've done stiff it. I do need to, I need to hit the green here. Yeah. He needs to hit the green. That's only because I'm on three foot away, so... Just give it a go. How do you play these, Ollie? Do you know what? I actually try and play these ones as similar to my normal shots as possible. So don't change too much, no? no? I think that's probably not a bad idea. Um, yeah. I try and catch, obviously, me catch the ball first. Trying to catch it quite clean, but not too clean. It'll be thin into that lip, so okay. Oh, he struck it well. He's just pulled it. Yeah, all right. It's a good attempt. You did the hard part, right? You got it up quick enough. Maybe just caught the sand a little bit early, didn't you? Yeah. Not easy though. Gambled and it's not too bad. Now watch Ollie rake the bunker properly, please. Breaking the bunker. Pulls the sand from the back, but he's mostly a push, push rake. So he's going to push a lot of that sand. Smooth it over, push it, smooth it over, push it, smooth it over. That's how we rake bunkers properly. If we do rake them at all, make sure you rake your bunkers, please. And that'll be as good as new once Ollie's finished. Ollie, get that out of your way. Look, that's not often I get a tap in for a three on the six hole, but we'll definitely take it. That's one of the best shots I've hit this year, especially with my six iron. So delighted with that. Just landed a little bit short, contoured round to tap in distance, barely three. Right, Ollie's got this chip for the half, although he's gonna try and get it up and down. He's gonna play it properly as if he was metal, but he's gonna try and chip in for the half of the hole. But yes, so here we go. Ollie, what are we gonna do here? What club you got? So I've got my 50. I'm gonna try and actually land it just before the green for it to trickle on. Okay, we know he's not that confident and not well practiced at this at the moment. So let's see how Ollie gets on. Just nice, confident, positive swing, Ollie. Better, better. Oh, just caught the wrong side of that little gully there, didn't you? Unlucky, just probably needs to be a little bit further. Better stroke though, better technique. So Ollie's sussing his putt out there. Look, he's halfway down there reading it as well. It's a good thing to do, walk halfway down, have a look from there, imagine you're putting from there. He's got a tricky downhiller for his par. What do we see, Ollie? Just all about pace in it, really. It's all about the pace. I probably Got want you to play this. I'm sure many of you have played it in the summer. It was just lightning down here in the summertime. It was almost if you went past the hole, you could find yourself off the green. So he's just going to try and die in, although he wants to hold it for par. He doesn't want to make bogey. It's, you know, there's a certain points where we can be aggressive and when we can't. Started on line, it's not turning much. Stayed straight, Ollie. Good part. You hit the line, didn't you? Ball's rolling over line over line, but he's barely touched that. Even with the greens being dressed and slitted, he still rolled a good four foot past almost. So he's got one up the hill. Come on, Ollie, make a good stroke.
just went right. Hello. This your game's terrible. Right, seventh hole, most easterly hole in the UK. Great little par three. 167 yards today, pin in the middle from the white tees. Into that slight wind. I think it's a one club wind, so I'm gonna hit my five iron. 167 would normally be a six iron. I'm gonna hit my five iron today. Um, it's not really a miss, really. You've gotta hit the green. If not, you're in a bit of trouble. But obviously, we don't wanna go left. That's the big no-no, isn't it? Yeah, so we just gotta to commit to making a good swing and hit that green. It's on fire. Well, you got six iron, Ollie? So I'm going six. Yeah, it's normally about a club longer than me, to be fair. He's a little bit younger than me. Right, come on, get your head together. Ollie's very upset with himself at the moment because he hasn't hit a bad shot, really, yet he's dropped a few shots in the last few holes. Just a poor short game. But he has been away on holiday for a month, so he hasn't done much practice recently, so that'll be half the battle. That's his first bad swing of the day. Just out of it a little bit. So this is Ollie's challenging moment. He's not scored very well over the first three holes. This is where he's got to keep it together. This is where patience, which is not our strong point. So this is probably Ollie's worst nightmare. Fair lie, it's not the wolf, it's a heron in lie. No green to work with. As we know, he's not that confident with his chipping. He's just walked off the last two greens having missed a short putt. He's boiling already. This is a massive moment for Ollie. Come on, Ollie, get that brain right. You know you can hit this shot. So yeah, 58, tricky shot. All or nothing, come on. on the green. All about the mind, all about the mind, this one. It's a well played. Oh, that's a great shot, Ollie. Oh, I didn't roll out either. Unlucky. Where's that suddenly come from? So you can chip it off a bare, horrible lie like that. But you can't chip the straightforward ones. All or nothing, innit? Yeah, all or nothing. That's yeah, a good shot. Right, right. Ollie, putt for par. It was a good chip just to get it there. He's got 18 foot. Right to left, Ollie? It's right to left. It might just go, it's a bit of a double breaker. It could go left to right. Uh, okay, to he sees, okay, he sees it. Big moment. If Ollie can hold this, then there's some momentum back in his game. He needs this, really. But again, did go a long way left, right to left, Ollie. Oh, I know. And the golfing gods are laughing at him because having missed three short putts, guess what? He's now, or missing, sorry, missed two short putts on the last two greens. He's now got another one. Gotta love golf, haven't you? Whereas I've hit a lovely shot with a five iron to eight foot, up the hill, right to left, putt for a two, up the twos club. See if I can roll in and really salt, rock, salt into that open wound of Ollie's. Oh, I pushed that. Pushed it a mile. See that? Yeah, that one's not in the Duncan's two club. Yeah, changed my mind halfway through the stroke. Didn't stay committed. Right, Ollie's little short one. Come on. Come on, you're good at these normally. You never miss these, especially with your claw stroke. Oh, for goodness sake, unlucky. Eighth hole, another tricky hole. Again, obviously, we don't want to go right with the North Sea. Um, there's also a bunker up the top of the hill there at 280, which is something you've got to be aware of. So again, I'm hitting three wood just in case I hit my driver too well. And it goes at a bunker at the top there. So three wood should put me in a good position. Not too bad today because it's down the breeze. Quite a big enough fairway to hit, although that bush is a bit of a nemesis of mine as well. I do like to hook it in there sometimes, but I'm not going to think about that now. I'm just going to knock it straight down the middle of the fairway. Second shot's always a bit tricky down here because it's blind, isn't it?
Okay, right, three wood for Ollie. Yeah, Duncan spoke through the hole. Yeah, I know. Right I just... God, you are what you okay, think you off, are. Cut it off the, off the bush. You're going to cut it off the bush, are you? I can't hit a cut. Not on my three or anyway. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, absolutely perfect. Well done, Ollie. Good shot. Right, so I'm in the bush. You are what you think you are. How irritating. All about a bad mental error, that was, yeah? Because I spoke about the bush. That was in my head. Where have I hit it? In a hideous bush. So it's unplayable. So unplayable lie. We've got three options. I can go back to the tee shot and hit it again. Three off the tee. Don't really want to do that because I'm presented with the same situation. I can measure out two club lengths from where to spot the ball lies. One, two, and maybe drop it here. But the angle it's gone in, because I can't go closer to the hole, I'll drop it here and probably get a swing at it, but I've got to move the ball about 50 yards to get it anywhere near the green. So the third option is to go back, keeping that point where the ball sits between that and the pins, so I'll go back here, far enough back, and I've got enough loft to get it over and enough to push yardage in so I'll probably take that option here drop it here and that will be my third shot from here so dropped it third shot 160 yards to the middle of the green down breeze might get a slight flyer plays down the downhill slightly as well once we're over it um, so I'm gonna hit an eight iron normally it would be a seven iron but just because of the breeze just because of the lie and just because of the way the ball reacts when it hits the green it always kicks forward because it runs away from us I'm going to hit my 8 iron, up and over the bush, I've got a line, see if we can get it close to recover it. Might have pulled it a bit on the MI. Should have left me. I to say with the line going over the bush here, but it was a good strike. It won't be fun. Alright, Ollie's at a great tee shot. I'll tell you what, Ollie, between me and your tee shots, and my pro shots and my short game will be all right, won't we? How far you got? One, three, two, so learn him from the fifth. I'm only going to hit wedge. One, three, two, so he's, yeah, he's kind of thinking back to the fifth where he hit a bit long from 140. So he's going to hit pitching wedge now. So that's the thing when you're on your round of golf, always learn from your previous shots on the, in the round as well, because it's the same conditions, isn't it? So. 130. It's a good solid wedge for Ollie. This is a bit of a green light flag. It's just fading off a little bit, but shouldn't be far away. All depends on how quickly it stops down that hill. I'll just pass the flag. Yeah, good shot. Well done. So a little bit annoying. I've hit my eight iron too far. That's a bit of a surprise. I didn't expect that at all. It's just rolled over the back of the green here. So that's a little bit annoying. A bit of good shot. I didn't get rewarded for it. But there we go. That is the nature of golf. It's never supposed to be fair. So what do I do here? Two options. I can try and bump it into a very soft bank. Well, I'm not sure how it's going to roll. Or I can try and fly it on top. The lie isn't too bad. It's not brilliant. But there's a bit of grass under the ball. To do here. I'll probably go with my 58 and just try and land it on top of the bank and let it bobble over from there. That's my shot, I think. Somewhere it would have been a bounce into the bank, but I think it's just a bit too wet and a bit too worm casty now, so I'm going to play a little high 58 degrees. So I'm going to move the ball position a bit of further forward in my stance just to create a little bit more loft and just land it on top there. into me that grass, I think that was the issue there, look, you can see the roots just leading into me, just caught my club caught a little bit early in the grass, and it's not made it onto the green. So just off the green, a little bare line, not far from the edge of the green, so I'm going to put it up and over the hill and then run down there. It's one of those days where I've probably made two bad swings and it's going to compound, so a triple bogey on the third, and if I don't hold this, Double bogey on the eight. You have days like that where you just make some two, three bad swings and they just leave the big numbers. Well, yeah, 
Yeah, good roll. Got the speed right, tap in distance, I'm off with it, Annoying six tee shot was to blame. I'm lucky with a second shot. Right, Ollie popped for birdie. He's just gone to the back of the green there, but it's a good shot. I'm going to... The, the rock is going to end, so the chances are I'm going to win this hole. I'm going to confidence to do with this drop in the ring. I can't remember. What is, it, what is the state of the match? Am I... Well... I'm three up. That one, turned around one, quickly. Pounds. He's going to get one back here then. Yeah, they're just bobbling and not really running today, are they? Just autumn golf. It's nice out here, but the greens aren't what they were. But that's to be expected this time of year. Good four, Ollie. Really. Well solid. Okay, ninth hole, Ollie's got the honour back. Always a bit of a risk or reward hole. We can hit driver down here, but it does narrow up a little bit down there. And it's probably not really the win for it. What are you doing, Ollie? So, into in off the left, so I've got two irons. So I'm going to start at the bushes on the left side and go for the... You want to go after the ladies' tees or we're going to go after... Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. We, yeah. Are, we yeah. are playing off the whites. <laughs> two iron cut off the bushes. He likes his yeah. two iron cuts off the bushes. Yeah. That's good. And that's going to leave you what? What we think? What's the plan there then? Well, when we're doing that red flag, we want a full shot in. So hopefully it's going to leave me around about 100 yards in. Okay, fine, cool. Well, hopefully. Maybe a little bit less than that. Yeah. Ooh. Not your best, Ollie. I'm going with four iron, Ollie. I think you had too much club there, and that's why you didn't make a very committed swing. I think two iron is too much if you're going to leave yourself a full shot in. So I'm going four iron, which I know will leave me a full shot in. Hello. Find the cat. Thank you very much, yes. No camera, please. So, uh, terrible tee shot, didn't really commit to what I wanted to do. I was thinking about maybe the result rather than the process of creating a good result. I was thinking, just knock it down the fairway. Well, that's not how you hit good golf shots. You need to stick to your process, which is going through your routine and commit to the swing you're going to make, which I didn't do. All I was thinking about is nudging it down the fairway. Typical layup shot, to be honest. Must do better, must be more disciplined with my mental approach again. Right, I've got 120, which is normally a pitching wedge. But I've got to fly a lie, so I'm going to hit one less. I'm going to go with my 50 degree, hope that I'm going to fly. I'm pretty much sure I will on this lie. Get it to stop near that front pin. It's actually a pretty good angle. Done well. For a terrible tee shot. All right, that went 50 yards left almost. It's done all right. I'm starting to get left in the gap and let that ball be. We're looking for Ollie's ball here in the right hand rough. It's a bit thick and juicy over here. Uh, rules of golf, we've got three minutes to find the ball from the moment when you get to where you think you lost it from. So three minutes from there. If we can't find it after three minutes, Ollie will have to have, have to go back to the tee and play three off the tee. You don't just drop it where you think you lost it. You must go back to the tee and play off the three off the tee. Unless you're playing a Stapleford, which you can just blob, or play a match play, you can concede the hole. We are kind of playing match play, but we're also playing a bit of stroke play, so Ollie will have to go back to play three off the tee. As a matter of courtesy, we've invited the group behind us to play through, because we don't want to hold them up while we spend three minutes looking for the golf ball. But it's not looking good, to be honest. Right, true to our word, this is golf in its rawest form. Warts and all, we're showing you everything. I'll at least have to take the walk back to play our three off the tee. Unfortunately, we couldn't find it over there on the right-hand side. It's very, very thick. Um, 
So Ollie's got to play three after here, unfortunately. But you know, we're not we're not doing any double takes or anything like that. We are just playing golf. Yes. He's got a four iron, which is a better club for him. He can commit to this one, yeah. All about the wrong club off the tee. Yep, fine. Good. Right, what have we got, Ollie? 91. 91. 91. It's about a full 54, about perfect. It should be. Bit of a fly line, maybe, is it? Bit of grass between the club face and the ball? A little bit. A little bit. Allow for that, yeah. Right, come on, Ollie. We're a bit of a nightmare here, but we're not going to give up. We're going to have, you know, we've been and we've played this game long enough that we can make lots of birdies in from here. So I've made that mistake a few times before, giving up too early. Oh, I just popped up high. Hang on. Yep, just back edge of the green. Good shot, solid shot. So well just short in the gap here on the ninth green. As much as I thought it would do out of that lie, I um, actually left myself in a bit of a tricky spot because I got this bank from this bunker in my way between me and the pin. And I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to land it or if I'm going to putt it. Putting it? Yeah, I'm not sure about this. Chipping it? I'm not sure about landing on this. Flying it? I don't think I can stop it. Bit of a conundrum. How am I going to get this close? I get enough check spin on it with a 58. Yeah, I think I probably just about can. I might just move it forward and just try and land it on the flat, perhaps. I'll do a chip it up there. No, I'm going to chip it up there. I think chip it up to the corner and let it run down. Just trust I get a good bounce off that bank in a bunker. Looks quite sandy, but. Really pleased with that. Rolled three or four foot past the hole, but from there I'm happy with that. It's a decent shot. So a little tester back, probably four foot. Um, I used to panic and stress over these, but nowadays I'm a little bit calmer about them. I'm a better putter these days. A bit more relaxed about it. A little bit left to right down the hill. Acceptance. Accepting I'm going to miss this is probably my best way to explain how I'm a better putter. I'm more accepting of a misses. It's not the end of the world if I miss this. It's a good putt as well. It went a lot more left to right than I thought. But accepting, but annoying. Nonetheless, bogey five. So why Ollie lines up his bogey putt, 30 foot downhill left to right, accepting. What do I mean by that? Well, you know, it's okay to miss putts. It's okay to miss short putts. PGA Tour averages, yeah, from six foot, they hold six out of 10. So they miss four out of 10 from six foot, which is quite an incredible stat. They only hold nine out of 10 from three foot, which is an incredible stat. So the best players in the world on pure greens miss short putts. So that's helped my mental game immensely so I'm accepting of bad putts it may sound a bit negative but it's actually not it's for me that really helps me out so it's okay to miss short putts and because of that I relax a little bit more now over the ball with those short putts and actually don't miss them many still miss the odd one obviously the stats say that right sorry Ollie bowl it in mate Good line, it just bobbled, didn't it? Just bobbled a great putt, though. Oh, well, that rounds off a pretty dreadful front nine for both of us, really. But I think I'm three up in the match, Ollie. I must say that. So that's the front nine over and done with. I can't say either has scored well. I think I was plus five and Ollie was plus six, so we've scored pretty horrendously. I don't feel actually I played that badly. A couple of bad shots has cost me a double bogey and a triple bogey, really, just put it in the wrong spot at the wrong time. Ollie's played really well. He's actually hit the ball really well, but his short game, due to lack of practice, is not up to much either. So although we're a bit annoyed with the scores, actually we're quite encouraged the way we're actually hitting the ball and I'm encouraged with my short game. It's just my tee shots are a little bit awful. Tenth hole, 320 yards long. Sometimes it's driver, not today. To me, it's just a little two iron down the corner there. Leave myself about 120 yards to that back pin, playing to my strengths. Well, my two iron used to be. 
guys are just waiting up there for me. Thank you very much. Ollie's just got to wait for the tenth fairway to first fairway to clear. But we've been around long enough. We've played this game long enough that a five or six over front nine can soon turn around to a two or three under back nine, and all of a sudden we've got a respectable score. And actually, sometimes that gets us in some of the prize money. You know, if the weather's a bit rough, it's not today, unfortunately. We've got no excuses for that. But that can kind of you know two or three under back nine. Two or three over par, the golf courses we play, and the competitions we play, the tournaments we play, local pros. That normally gets a spot in the prize money. Although the standards getting better, to be honest. So we're not giving up just yet. We'll grind out a score. We'll keep battling. We always do. Right, Ollie's got three with today. Three yeah. He's gunned it. He's not done much wrong today. Oh, he's just staying. It's not really fading. Be absolutely fine though. Yeah, good Charlie. So, 130 left to the back flag. A bit further back than I wanted. I probably should have hit three. We're too busy thinking about what I'm going to say to the camera, to be honest, really. That wasn't quite concentrating. Ollie's done the right job. He's got it further up there. So, 130 back into the breeze. I just feel like I can get a nine iron there. I don't want to go long because that leaves an awkward up and down with that flag at the back. So, if he lands middle of the green, I won't be too disappointed. It does skip forward when it hits the green normally because it runs away from us a little bit. So let's see if I can control the fly. That's the direction. Mine's okay. Might be a little bit short, Ollie. Yeah, it looks alright. Middle of the green. A little bit short. Okay. What have we got, Ollie? 90 yards to go. 90 yards? What club have we got? I've got 50, so it's not a full 50. It's going to be 40. He's going to control the trajectory, just try and keep it down at this breeze a little bit. 90 yards, 50 degree wedge. Pulled it a little bit, but it should be pin high, I think, wouldn't it? Yeah, it won't be far away. Just pulled it a bit on the breeze. So, yes, yeah, just come up a little bit short there. Could have maybe hit eight iron in hindsight, but didn't want to go over the back of the green. So actually, a little bit in between clubs, and I've took the lesser of two evils. Yeah, 40 foot putt down the hill, a little bit right to left. Um, just all about pace again. Again, having those practice strokes, looking at the hole. You know, if you were to throw the ball at the hole, you'd be looking at the hole to judge the distance. So I do that very much in my practice strokes as well. Normally, a strength of my game is the lag putting. Kiss of death. No, not really yet. Happy Perfect. Lad. Solid two puff. Right, sun's coming out, Ollie. Look. He's got it to the back of the green. A little bit left, but he's fine. He's back, he's putting back up the hill, which is a good thing. Can we get a good true stroke on this and get a good true roll? We've not had many of those today. Part. Oh, it bubbled again. Shame, 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 shame. Just the way the greens are today. No excuses. That's the examination paper. Examination paper for today. Same for everybody. Well hold. Eleventh hole, par three. One six six today to the yellow flag. A little bit on the right hand side. Same yard. This is we had in the seventh, so I'm going to hit exactly the same club hopefully hit the exact same shot because that was pretty decent on the seventh wasn't it so all vibes are good and positive flag on the right today you don't necessarily want to miss the green too far to the right if i missed it a little bit left it would be the worst thing in the world it would leave a pretty straightforward chip with lots of green to work with but when i'm over that golf ball thinking process will be right i'm hitting that green i'm hitting that pin
Ollie. Looks that way. What you got, Ollie? So I've gone five iron, same as Duncan. Five iron, yeah. Down it a little bit. The wind's just picking up a little bit. It is, yeah. I think the wind's, sun's come out. The wind's got up a little bit. I didn't get a very good shot there. I'm not overly happy with my golf swing. Feeling a little bit inconsistent today. Hold that line. Hold that line. It's a good shot. Middle of the green. Yeah, good shot, Ollie. Well done. Well done. We are misjudging the wind a little bit, Ollie. I mean, I didn't hit mine very well, but it's come up a little bit short and right, which is where we said we didn't want to go. Not much green to work with. Good news is that I am on the upslope, so it does give me a little bit of a ramp up. Lies not too bad. I'm going to open the face up a little bit here and use the bounce, create a bit of loft. See if we can't just land it on there and trickle it on. So my club face is going to be pointing right. My feet are going to be pointing left. The open club face means it's going to go higher, but it also allows for a slight miss hit because I'm going to be using the bounce and it's not going to be digging in. It's going to be sliding. It's going to create a bit of check spin as well because I'm going to be hitting a little bit higher in the ball. That's the plan. Let's see if we can do it. This is a shot that I haven't practiced that much recently, but come on. Pick your spot you want to land it. Land it on it. With that, Ollie. Very good. Well. Thank you. Very good. Right, Ollie's just come up short as well. That wind has definitely picked up. Neither has hit him that well, but we didn't expect it to be that short, to be honest. Front edge of the green, straight forward up, putt up the hill. Just got to get the speed right, Ollie, yeah? Yeah, and speed is pretty good. Yeah, good putt, mate. Well done. You're going to finish off. Straight up the hill there. I have to say, looking at mine, it's three foot away, right to left on the green. I'm not overly confident mine, Ollie. I've got one of those horrible feelings. Yeah, good solid two putt. You wanna take the camera? Yes. If I can hold it steady, I'm shaking already. These are my nemesis. I've got better because of my attitude, as I said in the last hole. But I have to say, my putting's got better because the greens have got much better as well. So, all credit to Danny and his team. The greens were superb this summer. And it's amazing how much the greens are better, the more trust you've got in the greens. But with them being hollow tied and now slitted and seeded, they're a bit bobbly. I can feel the anxiety already over this putt, but I've picked the line. I'm just going to knock it down that line and let gravity do the rest. Yeah, right, well. in the right, Ollie's up, bit of ready golf, he's ready to go. I just took a little comfort break. So he's on the tee, keep speed of play going. What we got, Ollie? Uh, par four, got big dog legs, right. I'm going to try and hit, hit it straight as I can and then just flat fade it. Just going to hit a little baby fade. We... The top of the trees on the right side. Three wood we've got. This is suits Ollie hold, Ho suits his shape, not necessarily my shape at the moment. Ah, uh, cut a bit more. Oh, I stayed there a little bit. That's a good shot though. Should be fine, shouldn't it? Yeah, good hit. So it's interesting how shapes of shot change. When I'm playing well, I generally hit the ball left to right, but and when I'm well practiced. But at the moment, I'm hitting it right to left because it's just the way I move through the ball, confidence through the ball. So I'm playing a little draw at the moment, which isn't ideal for this shot, but I'm going to try and hit the fade if I can. For me to hit the fade, I've got to aim my body a little bit left. I'm going to really focus on rotating my body through to try and produce the club going left to right. And my body turns quicker than my hands and arms, basically. That's the idea behind it. That's the feel I'm going to try and get. Let's see if I can do it. Feet left, club face straight, pretty much. And just try and rotate my body a bit more than my hands. Oh, I'm in it dead straight. Double cross. Yeah, struggling with a fade at the moment. Safe enough though. Right, okay, so I've pulled it over to the left hand side here, next to the ladies 18th tee actually. Not far enough back that I can get it over the trees, even though I've got 185 yards to the middle of the green, probably about 190 yards to the pin. Which 
normally would be a two iron, but I'm not so sure I can quite get my two iron high enough. So I'm going to go for a four iron, and it comes up a little bit short, short right, I can chip and putt it. It's, the tee shot was a difficulty. I struggle to fade my three, but I quite like it for that reason, which means I can't lose it right. But for this hole where you do need that fade, it's not ideal. Two iron would have been too short. And I don't trust myself with the driver. So all in all, it's a tough tee shot for me. I'm up, I'm up too dishappy where it's finished, but it just leaves a tough shot now. It's been a bit unlucky here. That wind just stopped it fading so much. He's got an awkward one because he can't get a stance. So what are you going to do here, Ollie? Yeah, trying, to trying to punch it as far down as it can. What club you got? I've got five. Five iron. Just trying to trap it down there. If he can get this hundred yards, he's done well. To be fair. Yeah, well done. That's all you could do. You just got to take your medicine. If that had been a foot the other way to the right, Ollie would have had a shot. A big draw around the trees, which he's more than capable of. Well, that's the luck of the draw today. Okay, Ollie's third shot. That's a good pitch out from the trees. How far you got, Ollie? 68 yards. I've got 50 and I'll try and flat low out the wind. 60, little low skipper. Land it short, watch it check up. Ollie chipping, he just gets inside it. He'll learn a lot from this video as well, to be honest. We'll watch this back and he'll see how he just drops his chipping sometimes inside himself. He'll learn a lot from that. Oh, I hit my second shot really well. It just clipped a leaf just at the top there. And it just made it go a little bit left. I thought it was actually going to be worse than it is, but it's actually finished up really well. Pin high. Just off the left side of the green here as well. Slightly like a chip, but I haven't got to go in. It's a bit scrappy. It's a bit scrappy. That's where I wanted to. Just a little bit of a bit land it over it He's got a long putt here for his par, probably a good 40, 50 foot this one. Again, he's just having lots of practice strokes, focusing on his speed control. It's all about speed from this range. Speed looks good. Yeah, good putt. It's just a little bit right. One of those little tricky ones again. Are you going to finish? Time. I don't know if you to go for your routine, but up to you. Yeah, well, good two putt. Shame about the chip, really. Another one of these, Ollie. This time probably four foot rather than three foot. Pretty straight, I think. I've just got to trust. Four up, Ollie. Six to play. Interesting about the passing, isn't it? I'm not one for banging the ball in, yeah? I like to use the hole of the hole. Some people are very good. Tiger Woods very good at banging the ball in the middle of the hole. I'm not very good at that. I'm not confident enough to do that. So I do tend to die my putts into the hole. I find that works better for me. I'm not so sure that was the best stroke in the world. That one, but it did go in because the pace was pretty decent. So that's my way of holding short putts. Everybody's slightly different. You'll find your own way. 13th hole. 
380, 410 yards, dog leg left to right, first 220 yards down to the corner and play to the right from there. No point taking the risk for going over the corner. Nothing to be gained apart from maybe 30, 40 yards if you hit an absolute perler sort of thing. But for me, it's always just down to the middle there. Generally, I'm quite a cautious golfer. So I'm always just taking the lowest risk possible possible and knocking it down there. Trusty two iron, into the wind a little bit. Well, it quite well. Straight down, that leads a long second shot, but it's in play and not in those trees. Same for you, Ollie, two iron. Same for me, two iron. 220 is the number about, isn't it, really? If it goes a little bit longer, then that's fine. It does leave a long second shot in, but it is quite an awkward hole. I wouldn't say difficult, but it's awkward, this hole. Yeah, arrow straight. Well done. Same spot. Well played. So, bang middle of the fairway. 196 to go to a front pin. Slightly downwind and off the left. That's a nice, smooth four iron to me. Yes, it's a long second shot, but and yes, I could have got greedy with a tee shot, but if I'm finishing those, it's a chip out sideways or a lost ball, so that's the plan there. So, good, smooth, four iron. Let's see if I can just fade this one, Ollie. You know what happens when I do that, but we'll give it a go. So Ollie's just hit his a little bit too far into the semi-rough. Something he's got to be careful of is obviously we don't want to go too far because we've got more trouble there. He did hit a good tee shot. Um, right, okay, so how far have we got, Ollie? 177. 177. Seven iron. seven iron playing for a slight flyer or not out of semi? A little bit. Not a little bit. It's not much. No, it's quite, quite a bare lie there, actually, isn't it, really? A bit of a brown lie there, so we should be okay with that. And that's how you hit it, Ollie. You've got to hit it thin to win, mate. Keep it out of that wind. Just staying there a little bit. Yeah, solid shot, solid swing. Should be just on the green, not far away. Well done. All right, so my slightly thin four iron. I'm sure I'm thinning a few today. That's not normally like that. I don't know why that is. Um, if anything, I tend to hit them a little bit heavy sometimes, so just maybe a little bit out of sync. But anyway, it's done well. It's not a bad miss. Uh, made it onto the green, 25 foot away. Downhill, uphill towards the pin. And downhill to start off with, uphill at the end for about the last four foot. And slightly left right. Right, Ollie's hit a solid shot in here till about 30 foot, 25 foot. 25 similar, distance to similar distance to mine, yeah. Same sort of thing. Maybe his is not downhill as much as mine was to start off with. I should have probably weighed that a bit more into my calculations. So it's a little bit downhill, but uphill most of the way, left to right again. Borrowed a little bit, a little bit short in pace, but it's okay. We're not going to hold too many from there. Yeah, good solid tee putt. Well done. Here we go again. Little three footer, little right to left. There. Now I've held the last two. I should be nice and confident, but my stupid negative brain is telling me. Well, you're going to miss one of these. So here I am, yeah? This is all about the battle of the brain again, isn't it? I've just got to pick that line and knock it down that line again. And just get out of my own way, get out of my own head. Just knock it in, just see it for what it is, a three foot putt on the golf course. You should be confident. Well, 
right edge went in. Thank goodness for that. Right, 14th hole, similar to the 13th hole, all about knocking the tee shot down there. Probably got to hit it a little bit further down this one, haven't we? It's 220 down the 13th, probably 240 down this one just to get to the corner. Um, going two iron, got to hit it quite well, I think, although I think the breeze is helping. Uh, three would probably potentially take me a little bit too far, so a well struck two iron, middle of the fairway. Should leave me a six or seven iron into the green where the wind is, so. Well, Ollie, Perfect. A bit. Same play for you, Ollie. Two on again. Same play, yeah. Same yeah. Play. Again, no point trying to go over the corner. I know some of those with egos do, but it, honestly, not even Rory McIlroy would probably try. It's not worth the risk. Yeah, it's beautiful. Just turning on the breeze a fraction. Might leave us a longer second shot in than we wanted, but in play. So Ollie's has just turned over on the breeze a little bit. I think we are both misjudging the breeze a little bit today, aren't we? We're kind of getting a little bit knocked about by it, but we're you're okay. Bit of a fluffy lie. How far you got, Ollie? 200, 200 yards. What club you got? Into the wind. I've got two. I'll yeah. Down it a yeah, I think you're probably right. It's a long way. Left a tough second shot here. I think I'm not. I'm a little bit shorter than you, but a bit on the fairway. But still a long way back. It's just an annoying. Right to the left wind off that tee, isn't it? Actually quite a tough hole today, really, isn't it? Tough hole. Right, two iron then, 200 yards. Just gripping down it a little bit, just trying to keep it a little bit lower out the breeze. I think you're good to go. Stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. It's on line, Ollie. My new contact lenses are good, but I can't quite see that. No, I think it might be just long. Just a bit long? Okay. Right, so 201 to go, same yardage as Ollie's, but this time from the fairway. Again, I'm gonna go two iron. It's probably really a three iron, but I don't carry a three iron. That's where my gap lies between the two iron and the four iron. So just a little grip down two iron, which probably helped me because it'll just keep it under that breeze that's up there. Maybe a little bit back in the stance. Slightly better lie, so it should get a good strike. second best shot of it today behind that one on six and I've just rolled off the back edge of the green I mean that I just hit that so good that two iron so that's really really disappointing but I've got to get over that lies good chipping up the bank landing it just on the front and then it will run up there or run up to the flag got to get over that shot that is disappointing though oh, and Ollie's look he's hung on the top of the fairway there so he gets a coming out of the rough he should have flown over the back me coming off the fairway hit it beautifully should have stopped. No justice. Anyway, come on. Enough of that. Think about this. So just a 58 degree. Pretty straightforward. Nice lie. If there's any justice in the world, I should chip this in. Get in. Go down. Whoa, a bit bold. I've run it eight foot past. So I'll join either that three iron. Right, okay, Ollie for birdie. It was a great second shot. It was all over the pin, to be fair to him. And now he's got a good putt just coming back down the hill. Right to left, Ollie, we're seeing this. Right to left, down the hill. Let's get a worm cam, shall we? Let's get right down there. Oh, he's pulled it. Oh, that's rolling on a little bit left as well. Not pleasant. What are you doing, Ollie? Uh, I'll mark it. You're going to mark it. Watch me struggle over mine. Mm. A little bit. Not 
sure on the read here, Ollie. It looks like a little bit right to left to start off and a little bit left to right at the end. My initial feeling was left to right. And I get over it and I see a little bit of right to left. So I am going to go just maybe the left edge, I think. And allow for that eight foot back up the hill. I have to say, I'd be a bit annoyed if I miss this. justice in the world oh, that's irritating irritating that's happened to me a couple of times today where a bit good shots just gone over the back of the green not getting much from around today ollie with a little tricky three footer yeah well done he's got a hole back he's fighting Yes, I'm still moaning about the last hole. Didn't feel like I did a much wrong. Good tee shot, good second shot, good chip really, chip really, just ran on. Putt wasn't the best, but to walk off with five, I don't know. Anyway, well, he's now three down with four to play. He's buzzing. He's waving to the crowd. Par five, 15th hole, 517 yards, long hole. He's not hit it very well, but it's down the middle of the fairway. Good necky fade. Yeah, so 15th hole, par five, 517 yards today. Probably not much chance of reaching it in two shots, so it's a bit of a three shotter. Second shot's always a bit tricky down here. I'm gonna go with a little low driver. I quite like this shot, so I'm teeing it up low. And for me, it gets it going out there with a bullet with not much spin on it. It's my way, it's my little fairway finder, to be honest. And I'm not overly confident with the driver, so. Famous last word, it'll all go wrong now, but come on. It up low, I open the stance up slightly, move it back in the stance, and just feel like I rotate it through it, keep it low. And let's just tow it like that, over onto the 16th green almost. So not confident with the driver. Not very confident, you'll probably, you'll probably be watching this video mid-February where it's going to be cold, but these are the sights that we come back to Gorston soon, warm weather. Right, okay, so I've hit it down the left. I've got away with it, to be honest, so I lost something on the last hole. I've gained a little bit here. I've had, I managed to avoid the bunkers. Yes, the ball was a little bit low for me. Yes, I've got a blind, awkward second shot, but at least I'm not in any of the bunkers, which is always a bit of a result. So I've got to get it in play, 300 yards to go. I think my four iron down there should leave me about 120 to the pin, I reckon, today, which will be short of that cross bunker. Past the two fairway bunkers. I'm one of those people that I do have to hit a lot of drives to hit my driver well, if not, I've got no confidence whatsoever. That's the only second driver I'm in today, I just never really commit to it. I do struggle with driver if I'm not hitting it lots. Right, okay. About all tee shots generally. Four iron, just, I see the house, so I'm aiming a little bit right at the house on you, we reckon? Yeah, I think just right there. Spend my knees a little bit more. Oh, these four's gonna go a little bit right. Oh, that's quite a lucky now. Uh, that'd be okay, I think. Right, yeah. yeah. Two, six, four to the middle of the green, Ollie. What are we doing? I've got three wood. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get there. It's just gonna get it up there. As long as you clear the cross bunker, then it's got a straightforward pitch into the green. It all depends on how you like playing this hole whether you like laying up short and leaving yourself a full shot in or he's just going to try and get out there as far as he can. He's worked out that's how he makes most of his birdies with that strategy there and he's quite good with the three wood. A little bit low, a bit left. Safe enough though. Yeah, it's good. It's fine. Well done. Right, managed to get it back out in the middle of the fairway. Thought I missed it a little bit right. I think the wind just brought it back a little bit to be honest but here we are. Perfect. One, two, six to the pin. So, nine iron, one club wind. Although the wind has freshened up a little bit, I still think nine iron's the right club if I hit it well enough. That's the big if. Maybe back in the start a little bit just to take 10 feet off the top of its trajectory. Just to 
Probably the, one, probably the one spot Ollie didn't want to leave it. He's taking a walk up here because he knows what's going to happen next. He's got a grin on his face. Yeah, he's probably hit it too far. He didn't think he'd get it this far up. He was hoping to leave it a bit shorter so he didn't have to go up and over the bunker. Lie is not too bad. Actually, it's just doable. He's back into the breeze a little bit. He's got to open the face up. He's got to use the bounce on the club a little bit. We know Ollie doesn't like this shot, but he's a professional golfer. He can play this shot. Come on, Ollie. Just commit to it. Turn that chest through, that's it. Use that bounce, lovely. Yeah, well played, well played. Yeah, on the green, eight foot birdie, well done. So just walking onto this green, we've just noticed it's not been slitted or sanded, so it might be perhaps a little bit slower than the rest of it, we'll find out in a minute. Uh, another sort of 40 foot part, I can tell I'm not striking it as well as I can do today, obviously I've thinned a couple as well, but even that one wasn't quite out in the middle of that, because all my shots are finishing a little bit short, so I know I'm not striking it, that's just golf, that's one of those days, some days you do strike it flush out in the middle, you can get it pin high, you'll have a good round some days, you're paddling, you swing a little bit as I am today, but still mate, it's just kind of getting on the green and holding the old putt, you never know, come on, you can roll a bit smoother on, even though slips or sand on them, Right, after Ollie's good chip, a little six fur. Birdie, Birdie chance, back up the hole to get another hole back in our little match, but more importantly, a birdie. Straight in the middle, lovely straight Ollie, well done. Run that first putt past. Quite have the speed there for the first time today. So Ollie's got a little pep in his step after winning the last two holes, 4-4 four, four against 5-5. Five, five. Tough tee shot this one, even if the white tees in theory should make it bigger, but with the angle, I find it more awkward to be honest. So yeah, I'm not, I don't like this tee shot necessarily. I've played it a few times now and yeah, I don't think I've hit the fairway too many times to be honest, but Ollie's, Ollie assures me it's all good. He's got two iron in his hands. He's just going to ping it down there, just right in that bunker. Oh, that's perfect. That's a long way down there, down the breeze as well. Yeah, very good, Ollie. Well played. So I've got a bit of a tee shot heebie-jeebies today. I'm not really overconfident standing on the tee. I've not hit many good tee shots, so it doesn't inspire me a lot of confidence. But come on, it's all in the head, isn't it? Just follow Ollie down there. Loads of room, really. Stick a line, stick to that line. Yeah, got away with it. Right, one seven three down breeze. Feel like I'm going to get a bit of fly. There's a bit of grass there behind the ball. Ball above my feet, which is going to make it go to the left. I've got to bring it down here a little bit. I'm a little bit undersized up here. Seven's got to be seven. Oh, 
was hoping Ollie. So Ollie a bit more confident with his tee shot, no indecisiveness there, he's very good off the tee. Uh, Ollie's now got 117 to the pin, so what's this? Good solid gap wedge. Yeah, gap. gap wedge down the breeze. The door's open. I'm letting him in here. I've just suddenly lost the feel for my swing. I'm just, I don't know, fatigue at my age. Just had a banana to pair me up, so hopefully that'll kick in soon. But Ollie's licking his lips. A little one. bit in between clubs, didn't commit to his shot, landed on top of the bunker up short, little pitch on, lies, quite nice, actually quite sandy, quite, quite, sorry, quite sat up and not in the sand, which can happen on top of the bunkers. What's the plan, Ollie? Land it short and just dribble it up, sort of thing. Get this up and down, I think you won the hole because I'm in all sorts of bother where I am, looking at it. in the hole. Ooh, good shot. Just run on a little bit though, down the breeze. Fair mole bounce. It's been an awful shot, it's gone long, it's flown, it's missed the bunker. I've got about six foot of green to work with just over the other side of the bunker. The good news is that it's back into the breeze, so that's going to help me stop it, and I've got a decent lie. So I think I'm going to go airborne. I'm going to play a bit of a parachute shot here. I'm going to, yeah, try and kind of, well, I'm going to gamble a little bit, open the face up, open my stance up. Shot. If it goes wrong, it can go very wrong, so I could be on the 15th fairway, but I don't think I've really got much option to get it close to the hole unless I chip out to where Ollie's ball is, but that's kind of definitely typically not better than that. And the chipping is my strong point. Yeah, really. Open the face up, open the stance up, sweep the leg with it. Distance. Right, go for Ollie, what have we got? 30 feet. Slightly up the hill again, this is a green, it hasn't been slitted. No, it hasn't been slitted, so it slitted or dressed. Can't run smoothly. Missed this, I've got a chance for the match. Oof, yeah, think about that. Happy days. Good part. It's not turning though. Stay dead straight. I think it was a good red, but pace was good. Solid five. But not what you wanted, not where you were after the tee shot. Yeah, no, disappointing five has to be said. Pretty straight. I'm aiming this straight at the hole. Part to win the match up the hill, back into the breeze. Just chicken down my chip shot. Okay, 17th hole, 300 yards long, down breeze off the left slightly. I'm going to go with driver. I know I'm not very good with the driver today, but I just feel like with that flag at the back, if I can get it kind of in the bowl down the bottom there, that's a straightforward chip. My miss with the driver tends to be left, well that's over the 17th tee, I'm probably going to clear those trees because I hit a real bad one. Uh, so again, that needs to be quite a straightforward shot in from there. So yeah, driver, let's put Ollie to bed, let's go. See if we can catch the shoot. So left edge of the green, skirted between the bunkers, three foot from the hole. Up 
for the gods now, Ollie. I'm in with this one. Right, Ollie's trying to do the same. He's gone with driver. Well, I'm in the lap of the gods, so Ollie's got a chance here. Oh, I see a ripper. He's hit an absolute ripper. It's going to be a bit long, it's going to be a bit left. Unless it gets a really good bounce. It's a great shot, Ollie. Well done. So it's hit the tree and bounced straight back down, which in a way is lucky because I found it, at least it could have bounced anywhere, but unlucky because I'm blocked out by the fence. Now, the fence, I can't get line of sight rule, that doesn't exist in the amateur golf, but I can get relief for in interfering my swing. So I can take it back nearest point of relief, not near in a hole, until I can find a golf swing. So I can probably go back to about here, really. Now I've got a goal swing, and then I'm allowed a club length from there. So I can go there. So now I'm allowed a club length from here. I might just go and get my driver, because that's the longest club in the bag. Use the rules to your advantage. Measure out my club length. This is a free drop. I still can't get it up and over, Ollie, can I? I don't think I can quite get it far enough back where I can have a shot to the green. But I'm going to drop it here anyway. Oh, run out of teeth there, it's full marker down, Ollie. Knee height, in between those two. Back in play, free drop. But it's not really done me any favours, I think. Mean. How far have we got? Back in play. Right. Yeah, typical day. Chipped it into a fairway divot, look, Ollie. Lovely, jubbly. Now, thank goodness for preferred lies, but I like to play the ball as it lies. I mean, yes, it's annoying that I've chipped it into a divot when there's lush green grass, but golf is a test of patience or something else. I don't believe you should have three drops out of divots on fairways as some people do. I don't believe golf is supposed to be a fair game. I think it is an unfair game. That's the way it's designed to be played. So I'm going to play it as it lies, Ollie. Good luck. 85 yards to the pin. Now we're going to play it as a divot where it's a lob wedge. I'm going to move it back in my stance to make sure I get ball first and trying to hit down on it and try and squeeze it out, okay? Ollie's up there on the green, look. This is going horribly wrong, but we'll give it a go. So Right, after his fantastic tee shot, Ollie's just knocked it to the back of the green here, look, in one shot. So he's got a putt down a hill for Eagle. But two putts to claim the hole and take it down the last, which is more on his mind. But not one he can race by. Tricky putt, this. Yeah, it's a good putt. He's left himself a little bit to do, though. I think he's probably going to mark that, Ollie. A little yeah. sneaky right to left or down the hill. It's got a marry up line and pace. Got it starting. Three or four balls outside right. I'll just die into the hole. It's a bit before Ollie went off, so that's the third shot there. Oh, 
like caught one of the tram. <laughs> oh, it caught one of the tram lines, Ollie. Ah, uh, wasn't meant to. Mm, so that's the difficulty when you're putting short range and it hits one of those tram lines with no pace. So I'm not very good on kind of greens like these, but. Well, he's put for three, he's won the hole. Oh, that did the same as well, but it went in. Well done. Good putt. Good three, Ollie. Good drive. Right. Last hole. Back to one up. I've got a one hole lead going down the last. I'm throwing it away, to be honest. Can't get my tee shots away. Another tough tee shot. 18th hole. Downwind. 529. Ollie's going to start it down the left hand bushes and fade it back in the middle. Oh, he's just absolutely gunned it. Is it it's staying there, though? He's got it enough. He's carried it enough, I think. Might be just in that. In the bumper thing in it so not not looking forward to this tee shot although i got a one hole lead uh 18th tee shot is horrible for me i just don't seem to be able to get it um and i'm not very confident off the tee the best of times as you've seen for the last few holes or so but i'm just going to try and it's all about mental strength isn't it it's going to try and commit to my line remember all the good swings i've made up here let me just aim a little bit right just pull it a little bit i think that seems to be my go-to shot today Yeah, right, Ollie's a little bit worried about he's down the left hand side. I didn't hit mine very well, but I think I've got it down there. It's in play. So Ollie's just going to hit a provisional ball down there. I think it'll be alright to be honest, but you never know with this game. Oh, that's miles down there. Yeah, you want that one. Joy of joys, I've managed to get it on the 18th fairway with a horrible defensive steery golf swing, but here I am on the fairway. Down slopes are not pleasant on the right hand side. 208 to the pin, it's going to take off like a three iron to the downhill lie, so actually it suits that yard. This downhill lie ball never go, normally goes left to right, and I've got to make sure that I commit down that slope. So I've got to make sure I swing down the slope, I'm probably going to fall forwards after the ball comes down the seat. Good. So I've managed to get mine up there. I think I've got it somewhere near the green, certainly. It all depends on the bounce when it got up there. But I certainly hit the shot I was trying to play. Ollie, this is his original tee shot. He's found his tee shot. Just left hand side the fairway. I thought it was going to be pretty good, to be honest. So here he is. What you got? 200 yards to go, Ollie. Probably to the front, you got probably 190, haven't you, to the pin, I would think. Yeah. My watch says 181 to the front, 194 to the middle. So. Well, he's thinking he needs eagle if he's going to take this game. If he's going to draw the game, half the game, we should call it, shouldn't we? Sorry, how much down the front? Uh, 181 to the front, you got. What are we thinking here, Ollie? Six. Six iron. He likes the six iron. It's a good club for him. Flags on the front. over the flag stick it all depends if it's the right club or not it's bang online oh my word we'll find out when we get up there oh, so i've just got a nasty little bounce into this right hand green side bunker Yeah, 
heavy. Not bad. Right, it's a big moment. Ollie's got this putt to tie the match up, this putt for Eagle. What have we got there, Ollie? 12 foot? 12 foot, right to left. Right to left. I've got a little seven footer for birdie, so if you miss, I can't see me missing mine, to be honest. You know me and my putting. Yeah, so I thought. Slack the pace, slack the pace. He's opened the door. Good four though, Ollie. Great four. Well played. So this for the match, Ollie. Yeah. This for a one-up victory. Right this part of me, up the hill. Thanks again. Cheers, Cheers. Wow, disappointing finish on my behalf. Five five to finish. Very disappointing. Let Ollie in the game. But anyway, it's not about that. Hope you enjoyed our little game there. Um, any questions, please ask. We weren't at our best. That was very poor, to be honest. But we enjoyed it nonetheless. Felt very rusty. Hit some good shots. Hopefully you can see while we are pros, because there's little flashes of brilliance there. Uh, at least my short game was half decent. Didn't hold any putts, but didn't really miss any putts. Poor putt on the last. Ollie's tee shot game was brilliant, superb. Hit the ball really well, but his short game was lacking a little bit. That's probably the way we are. My tee game isn't very good. I'm not great off the tee. I rely on my two iron too much. I need more practice with the driver, but my short game's generally okay. Ollie's the other way round. But any questions, drop us an email or just give us a phone, pop in the shop and ask us. Ollie, think, Ollie anything to add? Nothing to add, but yeah. Not our best game. No, not our best game. Be interesting. We'll do this. We've done this in October. We'll do it in April because it is my goal to play and practice a bit more over the autumn and the winter, more than I have done the last couple of years. Hopefully things, well, hopefully things, I suppose, are quieting down a little bit. The golfing boom is going back to what it was maybe pre-pandemic, which will give me a bit more time to practice and play. So and that is my aim over the next few months. So maybe we can do this again in April, Ollie, and hopefully the standard might be better because today it wasn't very good. But at least we've learned a little bit. We're going to watch these videos back now. It'll be interesting to see. Ollie's already mentioned my long putting and how far right I aim, which is quite interesting, and how far right, right I aim my chipping. So, and I've got a couple of, a couple of things to add to Ollie's game as well. But thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you over the next few months or so.